Let's cut live across to Singapore, where Prime Minister Modi is attending a function at the local university campus there. NTU is also pleased to announce the appointment of Mr. Gopala Krishnan as NTU Professor of the Practice, a position the university offers to exceptional individuals of outstanding achievements. Thank you, Mr. Gopala Krishnan. Would you please kindly remain on stage? NTU is pleased to enter into a joint PhD program with the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. May I please invite Professor Bhaskar Ramamurti, Director of IIT Madras, to come forward to exchange the joint PhD agreement between NTU and IIT Madras. A gift of one million Singapore dollars has been provided by Mr. Gopala Krishnan to support students from IIT Madras to participate in this program. Thank you, Professor Ramamurti. <laughs> the next agreement is a research collaboration agreement between the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, and NTU. May we please have Professor Anurag Kumar Director, IISC Bangalore, on stage for the exchange of the agreement. <coughs> A gift of one million Singapore dollars has also been provided by Mr. Gopala Krishnan to support students from IISC Bangalore to participate in this program. Thank you very much. Today, NTU will also be establishing a joint PhD program with the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. It is now my pleasure to invite Professor Davon Kaka, Director of IIT Bombay, to exchange the agreement with President Suresh. Thank you very much. NTU has considerable strength in satellite research, and we are pleased to announce today a memorandum of understanding with the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, or IIST, His Excellency Jawad Asraf, High Commissioner of India to the Republic of Singapore, will represent IIST for the exchange. Thank you, High Commissioner. Last but not least, NTU is pleased to conclude a statement of intent with the National Institution for Transforming India, or NITI Ayuk, in short, to collaborate in promoting exchange of scientists and students, as well as joint research projects. May I please invite Professor Ling San, NTU Provost, and Ms. Anna Roy, advisor, NITI Ayuk, to exchange the agreement. Niti Ayok is the leading think tank spearheading India's effort in developing a digital economy and knowledge society. Thank you very much. Your Excellency Prime Minister Modi and Professor Shiresh, would you please kindly take your seat on stage? And it is now my pleasure to invite Minister for Education, Mr. Ong Yi Kong, to present a formal introduction of His Excellency Narendra Modi. Minister Ong, please.
Your Excellency, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, friends, excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure, it is my pleasure to introduce His Excellency, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, although he really needs no introduction. PM Modi is the 14th, 14th Prime Minister of India and has served as the Prime Minister of the world's largest democracy since 2014, after winning the largest democratic election in history when more than 500 million, 550 million votes were cast in the Indian general election. Before that, he was the Chief Minister of the state of Gujarat, where he earned a strong reputation as a forward-looking reformer who transformed the economy and lives of the people of the state. India is on the move. It is currently the world's fastest growing major economy. With some 1.3 billion people and a burgeoning young population, she is set to become the most populous nation on our planet in less than a decade. For centuries, it is at the heart of transoceanic commerce routes. Today, it is also a continent of creativity and innovation. India's position today is bolstered by various reforms that have taken place under PM Modi's leadership. This includes streamlining a complex taxation system into the goods and services tax, a new bankruptcy law, a strong push for skills development, the implementation of ADHA, and the promotion of a digital economy. For example, the Digital India Programme, launched by the PM in 2015, seeks to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy, benefited many people by creating more economic and fast partners. It is partly because of history, because of the way the fates of our nation were linked and that part of Singapore has a strong cultural connection to India. It is also partly because of the future for we share a common vision and aspiration for the world and the region we live in. We wish for peace and stability in the world, prosperity driven by mutually beneficial trade, investment, exchange of people, knowledge and ideas, growth that is inclusive and benefits the masses, technology that is working for us to make life better, and societies where diverse people can be themselves and yet live harmoniously together. Our common hopes for the future and our deep mutual respect for each other is probably why Singapore and India are strategic partners, a status brought about by PM Modi's last visit to Singapore in 2015. PM Modi, your sharp mind, humility and life mission to give back to the community has inspired us to strive to learn from your leadership and your achievements. We are honoured by your presence today at NTU, a young institution but with a long history and a centre of innovation in Singapore. Earlier today, PM Modi suggested to PM Lee that between India and Singapore, we should gather our students and do a hackathon. Each country contribute a set of questions and two sets of students come together and try to solve each other's problems. And chances are, they can come up with cheap, efficient and effective solutions. It's a great idea and I think we should gather all universities to do this. <laughs> Prime Minister, it is now my pleasure to invite you to share your insights with us. Thank you.